Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Making another video. Got some pretty interesting topics to talk about. You know, some info for you guys. I'm gonna give a shout out to Nick Subliminal Ghost, one of my subscribers. You know, he's been, you know, keeping in touch with me. You know, we talk about the symptoms, anxiety, you know, how it affects not just, it affects anyone, you know, rich, poor. Old, young, um, black, brown, white, affects us all in different ways. Um, and what I want to talk about is about the symptoms of anxiety. A lot of people don't know the symptoms. Well, people usually think a panic attack is anxiety, but really, anxiety is could is created by stress. You know, a stress of an unwanted thought. An unwanted visual from the adrenaline, you know, going through your veins that it dilates your pupils and it's more sensitive to objects, the lights and the, you know, and the objects, which, you know, I have. But after a while, you get to really like adjust to it and know that it's just your anxiety, you know. And, um, well, there's a lot of symptoms. Um, me, my main symptom was. My upset stomach, nauseous. I lost 30 pounds. Um, uh, not be able to stop to get my those thoughts out of my head. Um, not being able to sleep. Mm, some visual stuff too, you know, like wow, you know, the, the, the world seems more like dreamlike. Well, all this is caused by the adrenaline and the other glands in your body that you know are used for your flight or fight or flight that just courses you know all the adrenaline in your body and it just makes the part of your brain that it controls anxiety go haywired you know it's like it, your brain has the hiccups basically but one of my other pains is a stiff neck tension headaches fatigue especially fatigue man like, I used to be able to do all kinds of stuff. Like, I was thinking about it today, you know. Um, before anxiety hit this year, which is, this is the worst I ever had in my life. I only had, like, one or two, like, two or three big panic attacks. But the after effect was just gone right after the panic attack. This time I had a panic attack, and it was, like, you know, a long aftershock, you know, after the earthquake. They just kept on going for months and months and months and months. But before this, I used to, like last year around this time, I was in, you know, having fun. I was going out to the bars every week with my, um, with my girlfriend and our close group of friends. Um, I used to just chill, you know, drink a couple drinks. Well, it really, you know, drinks really work for anxiety, you know, because it calms you down. But alcohol could fuck you up, like just your whole inside you know but you know I drink occasionally we used to love going to bars and um, I was thinking damn man anxiety's really you know took a hold of my life you know it was keeping me from doing things like in the beginning I was so ag agoraphobic I was not able to leave my house's yard because I was scared that if I left the yard something bad was going to happen to me and I remember the first time I went to the supermarket, I almost cried because I was able to do that. And for like months, I couldn't have do that. So that was a big accomplishment for me. But anyways, before anxiety hit, I was always having fun, going to parties, playing beer pong, you know, usual stuff. Um, I used to go to Vegas like three times a week. I mean, three times a year, you know. It's only like a three hour drive from where I live and just go out there for like a week or a weekend, stay in hotels, you know, live off of room service. And I take a look at it and I'm like, I can't not let anxiety stop me from having fun, you know. It's, it just can't. I want to go back to Vegas, you know. I remember the first time I went there, I was so amazed. You know, I used to go there. I remember the first year I turned 21, I went there like five times. Stayed there once for two weeks at the Venetian. 
to defeat that. But, uh, yep, can't let it get in your way. You gotta go on. You know? you can't let it stop you in your tracks from progressing, you know. Um, also, I was been experimenting with weed. A lot of people, you know, send me messages saying, um, how could you smoke? It makes your anxiety worse, you know? But these are the rule of thumb to live by. When you have anxiety and you want to get high. First, make sure you get enough sleep the day before. Like today I haven't smoked because I only had like four hours of sleep because long day. So I didn't smoke today because I know when I don't sleep my anxiety level is higher. And if I smoke a little bit more it could pass me to the panic threshold you know where I start panicking so be well rested one eat you know good meal you know your vegetables and shit two I mean three you want to meditate you know I meditate for five minutes doing deep breathing you know I do it like three times a day really helps with anxiety and four never smoke when you're having a bad day because when you're having a bad day it brings on so much stress that it could cause more anxiety you know like um, I don't know if you ever you guys ever did acid but I did acid a couple of a few times actually in my lifetime and um, I never the person I remember when I used to do it the guy used to tell me, you know, before you do it, better make sure you don't have a bad day. You can have a bad trip. So I made sure to do it only when I was in good days. And when I had good days and I did it, it was like the best, you know. Like, it was like the best. I mean, acid is, I think, opened my mind to a lot of things. It was, I mean, it was good, but I suggest that if you do, do responsibly. So those are my words to live by, smoking weed. And not, don't smoke too much. Like, I smoke about one hit. I don't hold it in my hits. I blow it out, but I smoke some bomb, you know. So it's, it hits me good. But never smoke a lot. The more you smoke, the more you would start getting those thoughts, you know. And start the whirlwind pattern. You know, one thought, one what-if thought becomes another what-if thought. And that what-if thought becomes a body symptom. And then that what-if thought becomes a, you know what's wrong with my body then from the body you know goes on and gone and on and on so that's how I create anxiety so rules to live by so get you guys probably next week see what I'm doing I'm actually gonna start growing hydroponically now which I'm excited for those of course I'm gonna get videos of that it's just gonna be alright so stay up now